first, you know what I'm saying? And then just the dude himself being from Richmond, it was like, okay, cool, this nigga, we rocking. You know what I'm saying? We got, I got some, I got some dogs with me as a young boy. I'm like, yeah, because I, I know, I know what I had inside of me and where I was gonna go, and just not on rap, just as far as everything representing Richmond. Period. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, I really was appreciating Big O. And uh, uh, what's the other cousin's name? Oh, uh, uh, what's my other nigga name, man, who had bars, too? He was like the MC Rand, though. What was that nigga name? He was down, he was down there, too, from before, uh, what was it, like 7th or 8th or 10th or something? You talking, about, you talking about Chill? Was it Chill? He had the, he had the cousin. He, he was fucking with something. Like Chill Chill something. Oh, you talking about Marcus? Uh, man, which one was he, man? I got to see his face, but that was my nigga, though. Yeah, he, was, he, was down, he was from down there like that on the main strip. He's from down that way, though, too. Yo, are you talking about yeah. Flick? Who? Flick the, Flick the nigga. Nah, hell no. Not him. He come. I ain't even know him. I'm talking about, no, I'm talking about oh, Bob, okay. who was from over there. He was older. He was about your age or something. Oh, my nigga. He was fucking with, uh, what's her name? Hey. One, of the, one of the females, man. They got him I'm chill, man. Out. It might be chill. Wow. That nigga had bars, too. He was, he was, go, he was a great yeah, guy. Yeah, he was dope. Like that nigga. Yeah, that was my nigga too. Like you know what I'm saying, like we we was fucking around after no limit. You stayed tapped in and all type of shit because, like I said, it was you and him that I really was like, like I really gravitated to because y'all the shit and where y'all niggas was from. It was like it it kind of matched my my thought process too. So I was like, yeah, these these these, these, these niggas. I was proud to be up. You know what I'm saying up under that act right there. But that was like I said, that was some shit, bro. I, I got a lot from that. I can still use that you, shit, bro. Real talk. You could. You could have been on the, um, some of the earlier No Limit releases, but you were too young, right? Is that how, Man, how it was? You know, like, I, 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 I believe so. I wasn't like, ready to be myself. I wasn't even ready, really, though, I could, to, yeah. on some real shit, because I wasn't really into the rap almost. I was just kind of still kind of looking and learning and observing, and I'm getting game from them. Like, oh, they know it, but I'm over there. I'm, pe- I'm taking a piece of his game, uh, uh, chill by other nigga game. Uh, P game, King George game. I'm I'm picking pieces of all of that and trying to come up with my own formula as we going. You know what I'm saying? And then like 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 Russ said, you know niggas start branching out and going this way and that way. And I was you know one day it was like, yeah, where niggas go? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, and, uh, it was uh, it was confusing to me, but you know what I'm saying? But like, at the end of the day, I still was like the uh, P stay, you know, tapping in and reaching out and you know what I'm saying? And, and we just we just kept being there and everything. So. Like I said, them dudes was really, I was really looking up to them, and I was, I, I liked the music. And I seen, like, what Scratch said, I was just a second ago. I seen it, what he just said, I, I seen that same thing about the brother. You know what I'm saying? I seen that, too. That I was already there. Like, back then, I was already seeing niggas there. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Just like I said, you know, uh, shit happens. I, I don't know exactly, but I know everybody got to eat still, you know, because when you coming in like that, you, you got to either have a bankroll already, or you got to be hella patient. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, trying to figure yeah, it out yeah. until you know what I'm saying? Yeah. until it come together. Because if you ain't the run, if you ain't on the major label, you gotta you gotta earn that, right? And like, man, that's just shit. But you had to grind, you had to work, you had to do whatever you had to do to to, to survive that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's, it's just so much coming to uh, uh, independent and then breaking into the industry to be a major artist like that. That should take time bro. and long long grind, bro. You feel me? Yeah, dude. Yeah, do. Well, hey, you, you it's my job to kind of put you guys on the spot a little <laughs> bit. You, you're here right now. What's up with a, uh, you know what I'm saying, a Richmond uh, a collaboration with the three of you guys, or maybe Chili Powder or some other guys? You ever th- think about doing something like that? Shit, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, Chili Powder talked about it. Me and him talked about it um, before... I think I did my interview and he was about to do his. He told me he was about to drop something because I told him I'm about to drop something. So he was like, well, you know what, let me know, I'll push it. And I said, well, let me know, I'll push it, whatever you got. So um, we talked about it, but I'm, I'm I'm open to get down with whatever. I told George that, man, let's get down. But George's hard to nail down sometimes. <laughs> yeah, that's the same old King George, bro, I promise you. You said <laughs> George been dead. That boy George, but when when he locked in, he locked in with people, and he he give he give it all. I know that much, but it, it is a it's a hard task to get that George to 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 be you know to come back, and 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 I get it. And you could it's nowadays 
But it's so many different things that play parts now. Niggas got family. Niggas hella grown. Exactly. You feel me? So, so exactly. time cannot be wasted, bro. Like, it's the, you can't waste no time just because you want to do something interesting. This ain't about time. Absolutely. Right? Something fun. You know what I'm saying? It got to be about something. We can put that time to the side, though. At the same time, outside of that family shit, like, my wife be telling me, like, you can make time for that shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like, that's real talk. You know, we, we can do yeah, it. We it can is. Do it. Can you do can't it. do it right, but nigga can't do it just to be going to the park playing throwing the ball though. Because I ain't got that Hell time no. to waste myself. I ain't no, gonna just go be like, oh man, this would be dope. It got to be serious. Yeah. It got to be. It got to be a plan yep. for me, like I said, because man, I ain't got no time to be wasting time just to be throwing a ball around, bro. I love it, but I ain't exactly. doing that shit for sport no more. You feel me? You got to cannot be wasting like time. Job. Treat it like a job. Absolutely. You know, 100%. You can do, you can do that shit in an hour and a half, two hours, we done. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, like, cause it's the shit that, like, I don't know what everybody else got doing, going on. I know what I got going on. And my time, yep. every minute of that shit is valuable to the motherfucker, especially because we get hey, older. You too? So we not getting younger. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hell no. So like, I, hey, look, I I'm, I'm with the move. <laughs> I'm with the movie, man, but as long as we're doing it for something, I'm with whatever, man, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I, uh, I know things can happen, and, and, and people, certain people would like to see things, and certain things can grow, you know what I'm saying? But it, it, it's, it's a, as long as this is playing with it, for me, I'm with whatever, bro. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Let's do what we got to do if we're going to do it and do it right. I'm with the brothers yeah. any time, any day, bro. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm I'm with it, man. If the shit going you know, gonna help us elevate what we already doing, shit, count me in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's so it's so me too. It's, it's a networking channel so big out there, but it's so many so many possibilities that can happen. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it's a, it's also a lot of people who uh, uh would would not would would unappreciate the, the the thing that's going on unless they see the seriousness of it and respect what we're trying to do. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's, you know, as long as this shit is right, I'm with whatever. Let's let's do it. We could do songs all day. Songs ain't nothing to do with realness. That ain't nothing, man. They got a lifetime of uh, information of realness yeah. and shit to fix. Test the water. You know, test the water you know. a little bit and see what happens. Uh, we, got, we got another, we got another uh, Richmond, you know what I'm saying, legend on the line right now, Chili Powder. Is that- Chili, how you doing, brother? How you doing? CP. Man. Hey. <laughs> What's up, what's up? Hey, Potter. What's going down? Hey, Potter. <laughs> what's up, yeah. Potter, nigga? It's Rick. Hey, man. I'm I'm listening on the other end. I'm watching you do your thing, man. I'm loving it. <laughs> hey, that's it. Hey, uh, hey, Potter, remember every time you get to the store, that niggas be like, boy, body, body. Hey, Potter, you was, uh, <laughs> you was having that body, body more than people. Boy, I, 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 I was talking about that the other day, so I laughed like a motherfucker. Hey, that's you know, a lot of niggas used to get at people. What's up with that boy Chili Powder? About it, about it. That's what everybody used to say to me. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, hello, hey, man. That's real shit, though. That's love for you, though. You know what I mean? Man, I appreciate it, man. We we got a lot of good history, man. You know what I mean? Come on, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Most definitely. Come on, bro. You know what How saying? far do you and uh, Lil' Rick go back, Chili? Oh, man. Nice. We, uh... Man, I used to see Lil Rick in, in Hilltop, man. You know what I mean? That was wild. I know, I know he, that was a while back. I know he's about that man in life, but, I mean, I used to see him over there all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah, that, yeah that's when the nigga had moved from the manor. And, and you know, mom started saying me that she needed to get further than that, though. When we moved to San Pablo mm-hmm. and Hilltop and shit, she, we needed to get further yeah. than that, bro. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> but, uh, but she did do oh, her yeah. job of getting me up out of there, though. You feel me? That was the yeah. first step. Yeah. And that shit, and that shit did save my life, uh, it, for, for real, some real shit, because it was aggressive down there. When I kind of just had missed a, a war down there at that time, when I when we left that motherfucker. So, mm-hmm. top, that's a part of that shit. And, uh, oh yeah, hey, that's my, my stomping grounds right there, Hilltop. That's why I be saying yeah. the HPP. That's what kind of saved yeah. me yeah, in Richmond. But being up in Hilltop was a little different, so that's why. My grandma was stayed off of Forty First Street, so I went to Kennedy. Oh. but I mean, yeah. So I was up in the hilltop, so it was a little bit different. That's why I embraced that music so heavy. But I ain't even yeah, know. Yeah, I, I went to Kennedy too. Did you? Yeah, yeah I, I went to Kennedy. Yeah, uh-huh. I went to Kennedy. Uh-huh. I went to Kennedy for a day. 
<laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, was, I was all in Central and South Side, though, all because of my grandmama grew up down there, but I right. grew up in Hilltop, though, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's a trip, man. You know, because I know about, yeah, uh, I heard about your chili powder, but I never really, you know, had the honor of meeting you, but I know you was a no-limit soldier, but, you know what I mean? It's just cool to hook up and reunite with everybody, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I man, I'm that, loving it, man. I'm liking that it's being brought together. Yeah. I didn't know that y'all... See, I'm learning something too. I didn't know that y'all did not know each other. Like, I, man, I'm telling you, but I thought niggas was all linked in at the same time. But I see it was, you know, that shit went so fast as you look back. Yeah, it was, it was, it was moves being made, bro. Niggas was moving. Yeah, though. it's different, it's different right. chapters, different chapters in different ways. You know right. what I mean? That's different ways. I'm learning something. I'm definitely learning yep. something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now that's that's some real yeah. shit. Uh, I know me and Tilly, you know, connected, and when we connected, it was like we was connected like glue from day one. I'm six four in there. Day one. Six four in the fucking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was we was rocking sense. Like, <laughs> what's that, my nigga? You feel me? Yeah. Locked in. Anytime, any day. You know what I'm saying? But that, that's another thing I can say about the no limit co- co- connection is that the brothers who kind of who did fuck around, who kept their own shit, kept their own solidness, still was good. So, you know what I'm saying? Just imagine if this would have been there for this day. Yeah. Right. Just imagine if this would have been there. Man, come on, man. Everybody, we all had yeah. hella different shit. We all had different yeah. artists. We all had hella shit going on, bro. And, and yeah, it's like, it's like, it's just, it's man, crazy, just like man. Scott was saying, just like Scott was saying, if we had the, you know, the Northern California No Limit, you know, think about how big that shit would have been. Bro, we'd have been, bro. Right. We had all the artists in the, we'd have had the best artists in the Bay. Hand down. See what I'm saying? Under the wing. Getting money, <laughs> hand down. Man, man, we've been killing that shit. Yeah, yeah. like who wouldn't have, who wouldn't have want to fuck with us? Though? Man, they they the right. the fuck out of us. If we invent words like who, player hater <laughs> and the you rich, know, you know who, what I'm saying? <laughs> who would not have fuck, wanted to fuck with us? Every artist, especially coming from the rich, man, would have been on our line. In Oakland, everybody right. would have wanted to fuck with us if this branch would have stayed linked in. I'm telling you, because each one, each individual got a got a thing about them that's attracted to hell of different people. But we'd have been locked in and had this shit on lock, bro. And he's, good niggas, we took, took care of the artists, though. We took care of the artists to make sure they understand how the game works so there wouldn't be no riffraff. Because a lot of people didn't know the game. Like, for this instance, my niggas, Mafiosis, Love and Death. But... I had my nigga put this money in, into them, right? But they thought when the album came out, they, you know, out, hey, man, we started woo woo woo. So they got into it a little bit with my partner because they thought that they were supposed to get some money, right? I'm like, hold on, bro. I had to break it down to him. Listen, man. Y'all niggas, he got to get this money back first before he can give y'all niggas a dime, bro. I think he spent $100,000 on them too. You know what I'm saying? And, and they didn't mm-hmm. even understand. They just thought, they just thought that, hey, album out, let's get money. We're supposed to get paid. They know it's selling. But hold on, bro. He got to get his money back first. I had to break it down to them so they could stop. You got to reach. You got to reach. You got to reach. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications. Like, comment, share. Also, go over to UGSForLife.com. Download the entire archive. And check out new episodes on Apple Podcasts and Blog Talk Radio.